Two thieves are in jail after years of living off of heists. Thousands of dollars in merchandise has been recovered. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope shows us how many business this affects and how the thieves got caught in Rex Burke. At least 31 businesses were robbed from cities across the Upper Valley. You investigate one thing and it turns into a completely different uh, direction. They're going through a lot of thought and pre-planning. Um, doing a lot of uh, scouting on businesses, doing a lot of price tag swapping on items, making false receipts. Arresting officer Gary Hagan sniffed out the thieves during a routine traffic stop December 30th on Highway 20. Both Jeffrey Smith of Rigby and Crystal Hansen of Idaho Falls are now in jail on a $30,000 bond after living off stolen goods for a couple of years. Uh, it's the first I've ever had it off of a, a traffic stop. Among the many businesses robbed, the only Rexburg victims were Walmart, Kmart, and Porter's. They were originally from here at one point in time and stated that uh, it was harder to get away with a crime in a smaller city versus a, a larger city. Items stolen include everything from Alien and Predator to some Star Wars figurines and even a laptop. It's a huge win for us. I mean, we look at it as a, as a large win. Um, that's because most of the stolen merchandise will be returned to the original owners. And that's made possible by the electronic log of stolen goods the thieves kept themselves to divvy up the spoils. Seven different law enforcement agencies are involved in this pending investigation that will likely see more people charged and even more burglarized businesses added to the already long list. Arrests that led to this giant bust all from a routine traffic stop. For Channel 3 Eyewitness News, I'm Stephen Pope.